Like if there's something left out on the counter, she's gonna grab it, she's gonna run we with it. We had syrup dumped yesterday because she was putting it on yeah. her pancake this, in the morning. And it was the whole it was bottle. Whole jug. They're thankful for little moments like that as they spend as much time with their daughter as they can. Thanks for being here for your local news at 10. I'm Marley Capper. It's never easy to see a loved one battle a disease, but it's especially tough when it's a kid. Today in Urbana, the community rallied together for one seven year old girl who's staying strong and pushing on. WCI3's Amanda Brennan was at a benefit today and tells us their story. This is Kinley Nash. She's energetic, has a big heart, and loves the people around her. It's hard to imagine this little girl is also battling a rare, uncurable disease at the same time. Kinley's a fun-loving seven-year-old, has a lot of energy. She's very happy. She loves hard. Ashley and Brandon Nash are fighting hard for their little girl. We always joke that, like, if you need a pick-me-up or you need a compliment, Kinley's the one to do it. But their whole world changed when she started kindergarten. Um, was probably academically when we first noticed um, that she wasn't up to her peers. After an ADHD, autism, and anxiety diagnosis, they knew the medicine wasn't working and they pushed for genetic testing. It, and that's how we ended up with the San Filippo diagnosis. It's rare and affects fewer than 200,000 people in the United States. San Filippo is very similar. They call it childhood dementia or Alzheimer's because all the skills that she gains, she will eventually lose. It's something no parent ever wants to hear. It basically attacks the brain, which uh, the brain affects everything in the body. But the Nash family isn't letting it hold them back. They're pushing forward. But I knew when we got this diagnosis that we were going to face it head on. And if it's not for Kinley's benefit, She's going to be the reason that we fight towards it. And spreading awareness is one step toward that, raising money for her in future research. And there's no there's no doctors locally that can treat San Filippo. So we travel to Cincinnati. So every trip that we go to Cincinnati, we're out the cost of travel expenses, lodging, meals. Um, so a lot of it will go for her care and then future needs. But we're very thankful that we don't have to do this alone. Hundreds of people came out for her and the disease that changed her life. This shows that we'll always have a following with us. They say there are a lot of unknowns, but eventually Kinley will be in a wheelchair and need feeding tubes. Right now, there is no FDA approved treatment or cure for San Filippo syndrome. If you want to help the family or learn more about it, we have a link with details on our website, WCIA.com. The Cure San Filippo Foundation says it's estimated the syndrome affects one in every 700,000 births and has a 100% mortality rate with kids passing away in their early teens. Because of how rare it is, it can take years to get a correct diagnosis.